And consider this dismaying observation. All right, hello everyone. I'm back with another unboxing. This time it is the Legion of Collectors Legacy themed box. I'm not going to show you the back of the box. It has an address on it, but you know, it just says the Legion of Collectors logo. So a Batman on there. So let's see what we've got. And yes, I am wearing a Doctor Strange t-shirt while unboxing a DC themed box. That's how I roll. I have ADHD. I can't be bothered to plan what I'm wearing based around what box I'm, boxes I'm supposed to be getting in the mail. It is what it is. I'll try to work on it. Ooh. Apparently, it's difficult to open. Yeah, just kidding. That was just my difficulties. Alright, so on the top, as per usual, we have a pin. Go ahead and pull it out of the plastic, and it is Swamp Thing. Let's see if it'll. That's, there we go. That's focused. All right. And being legacy, these are all older, maybe not original, but older, at least comic. Uh, variations of these characters. So here the patch is Green Arrow. Very cool. Set those aside here. And as per usual, we have spoilers about what else is in this box and how they came about choosing them and the colors and things like that. So we'll set that aside. Next thing we have is this comic. Very cool. Aquaman. Like the Black Manta standing on top of that, that hill there. That's very cool. And his mind controlled eels, it looks like. Very cool. I like that. Alright, and we have a shirt this time. Oh, look at that. That's very cool. That's cool. Crypto the Super Dog. I like that. I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of liking these ringer tees they're starting to put in these boxes. I think it's cool. It's not something you see very much, uh, especially in subscription boxes. Uh, so I like it. And the cotton feels nice and soft. It's... Uh, Whoever they're working with to make these shirts is doing a really good job with that. Not not too thin, not scratchy. So, <laughs> all right. So they're pushing the uh, top home line again. Um, I I don't know how I feel about the mugs. I like mugs, but I have no room for any more mugs. So getting these big pop mugs doesn't really do anything for me. These, since it's the first set that I can remember that I've received, I kind of like it, especially since Batman is my favorite superhero. Um, it's cool. It's the classic, you know, comics version of Batman and Robin. Much like the uh, 1960s TV show. And I like them. I'll, I'll put them on display. I don't know if I'll use them as actual salt and pepper shakers, but we'll see. I think my wife will have a little something to say about that. I'm not going to take those out of the box because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. So. Aha! People were right in their guessing and hoping that it would be Plastic Man as the pop, based on the teasers earlier. Let's go ahead and pull him out and see what we have. Very 
really cool. So I like that. You can see how his limbs are all twisted around, his, you know, his torso is twisted, bent, misshapen. Very, very cool. You know, you could, uh, customizers out there, you could even use this same pop and just do a repaint on it to make a Reed Richards. Although, he's not one for wearing cool sunglasses, but. I'm sure you can find something creative to do about that. This is very cool. I haven't quite seen a, a, a pop like this before. You know, it's not the most detailed pop, but you know, it's not it's not the most detailed character or anything. It's not like an alien queen or you know, anything like that. Alright, so overall, pretty good. Um, I, I prefer, obviously, the pop line, as, as do a lot of people that get these boxes. Um, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of online complaints about the salt and pepper shakers. It doesn't really bother me. I, I actually kind of like them, but not as much as another pop or uh, pop deluxe like we're getting in the Mother's Family line, or even Adorbs, which I don't really collect, but I've started to appreciate a little more, Now I've been getting a few more in these boxes, so. Um, being that it's Batman-themed, it's definitely right up my alley. And, of course, we knew there was going to be something Batman-themed in here. What I find surprising, though, is that, with the exception of the shirt, there's nothing Superman-themed in here. But that's still too obvious, going Batman and Superman in the Legacy box. Batman and Superman get enough attention in these boxes. So, I am glad that the salt and pepper shaker was Batman, because I love Batman. But there are going to be those that wish they had stuck with other characters. Maybe an, an original old Aquaman, or, you know. And there's tons of stuff they could have done. But, uh, all in all, I like it. Um, i give it a... Solid B. Could be better, but for me, it works. So let's see what else we could have gotten in this box. Alright. Oh, so the shirt could have been Ace. The Bat Hound. I, I would have been all over that shirt. In fact, I may have to look one of those up on eBay. And sorry about the reflections, guys. I don't have a lighting kit, so I'm just opening the blinds, and I set them to where there wouldn't be too many reflections, but the sun shifted between when I got the room ready and when I got ready to film, so my fault. Not prepared enough, but all in all, uh, a very cool box. It looks like... Uh, Everything else is the same in all the boxes. It's just the shirt that could have been different. So, yep, solid B. I still love getting these boxes. Um, I did get the X-Men box from Marvel Collector Core, and I loved it. I didn't have things, you know, the, my office here was in shambles a little bit because I was in the, rearranging things, and I didn't want to wait to open the box, and then when I got it, it's a really cool shirt inside that I didn't want to wait to wear, so I didn't film an unboxing. And I'm just starting getting these unboxings and reviews uh, filmed and, and put on there, this channel for you guys, so um, I plan on doing every box from here on out. Uh, don't quote me on that, and you know, something can always happen, but I also plan on subscribing to the new Disney Treasure Box, which is another Powered, powered by Funko box. Um, so they have Marvel Collector Core, DC Legion of Collectors, Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty, and now Disney Treasure Box. I think that's the name. That's the name that's been floated around on Reddit. It may or may not be confirmed. I don't remember off the top of my head. 
um, and it's supposed to be coming this spring. Uh, judging by their release schedules, um, you know, Marvel Collector Core comes in the even months. Uh, I think closes on the 15th of the even months. Then Legion of Collectors closes on the 1st of the odd months, and Smuggler's Bounty on the 15th of the odd months. So the one opening they have to keep with that pattern is a box, is the, a box that closes on the first day of the even months. So that would mean we'd get Disney Treasure Box, and then two weeks later, a Marvel Box, two weeks later, DC, two weeks later, Star Wars, and so on and so forth. Um, so we'll see. I'm guessing we'll hear something between now and the toy fairs. So probably in February, we'll, we'll, there'll be a website and they'll reveal what the first, one of the first items is that will entice people to sign up. And I'm guessing it'll close April 1st and, and ship in the first half of April, but who knows? Um, they did say spring. Um, this Brian, the CEO of Funko, I uh, mentioned it would be spring that that was coming, so April seems most likely, but it uh, could also be June. We'll see. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the box. Um, if you think they should be going for everything being more obscure characters, or if you like getting your favorites in these boxes, how you feel about the pop home line and getting that in boxes. Let me know your thoughts, and... Uh, Give me a subs uh, subscribe if you like this channel, and we'll see you next time.